<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to another Mafia part today. Over a fantastic day. We are continuing on and we are still very early in the game and I am looking forward to see where the story goes. We are now part of the Mafia. We're part of the family. The family. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. Come on, I got <laughs> you what did I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, there's still a yeah. gun in your pants. Get it Boss back. Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, we've got a hat now. We've got a new hat. Ooh, what's gonna happen in this part? This and it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paul and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't to lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you. And see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, we got to get a gun on me. Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. Right, that don't count. Point it at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. Press it. There we are. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. I want a magazine. Shooting starts. Get behind something. And don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. Oh, picture. Appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. All right, we're done. Good to see you, bro. Thanks for the gun. Thanks for the magazine as well. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Tommy, show me what. Okay, it's c -c caught. You got it. A pro. Have a good day, for fellas. Come on, get him. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. All right, let's go and do some dollar debt collecting. Right. I just noticed these arrows as well. Oh, helpful. I'll take a right turn in. Yeah, we take a left. Or 
then we've got face one there. Face around. Get our first collection point. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. How you doing? Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good. Here, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can Ooh. we protect you and little Julia without paying? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? Where's the money? Peron, fetcha! Voi ci succhiate il sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Nah. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? All right, let's get back to the car. One debt collected. Alright, where's the next location? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Well, he slammed his head into the counter back in... 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Okay, we got around this tram. We got around it. We've got a copper up the top of the hill. Keep on walking, dear. You don't need. You did not need to stop. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Hey, there's this restaurant on this block where they speak English. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. Says Bad news! You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. <laughs> yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair.
He's really going for it, isn't he? He's got to come out now. There we are. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't Come on, come on, go. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, Sam. I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Alright. Mate, my drive's got a bit, bit better, innit? Mate, already. Jesus. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no oh, one's going to get the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee-deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Long as it means Tommy gets the high life. But he won't complain. But he will not complain. Alright, I think we're almost there. Okay. There it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Salieri, from here on out, this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape Where's his other friend? Friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, right, this is all.
Sideway into the middle is gonna be. What have you got? Help me over here! Son of a Nice. Might as well. Ah, flying up this way. Oh, right in the balls. out in a minute. Anything collectible? See if there's anything like collectible or what around one of them. Bit stairs up by here. Let's see that one. On you, buddy. Come on, mate. Christ. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Can I just shoot him in the leg? Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. We got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, build up engine.
was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. We did it. We did it. That was good. I enjoyed that mission. Other than just like that little crash into the tree. That was good. I enjoyed that. That was a good mission. Right. But yeah, that's like eight years old, isn't it? So that's how oh, we're back to Luca goes from modern day. to mob and force her overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Right. What shall be next? After our yeah, boxer. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grizzle bent up his all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Oh, joy. I was literally did just to turn away and like, we didn't see nothing. We saw absolutely nothing. We're going to walk the other way. We're going to go grab a cup of coffee. <sighs> Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Not Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. What kind of fun? What kind of fun? I want to know. Oh, we're about to find out. We're about to find out what kind of fun. What kind of fair play? 1932. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. 
A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you'll boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Easy. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop let you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing the All right, staff, talk to though. Ralph. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this move. Six. Oh, hey, hey. Buona sera, Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Macillieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. And then there's this other guy, L -L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. All right, we've got play time on this. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Oh, cool. Enough. Mate, how many cars we got? Options here. Yeah. Oh, mate, should we take the taxi? I'm going to take this one for a drive. Ow, Ooh, cops. Speed limit. <laughs> it's like. We don't go fast on this game. We always stick, stick to the speed limit. Straight on. For oh, some reason, I was turning. Oh, well, we are slightly turning ish. Yeet! Risky driving there. I like the quietness. I just like the sound of the car, to be honest. I can hear the engine to change gear. Oh, we're going all the way out of town again. Oh, no, we're not. You, Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. 
I mean, if you got the money, sure. Let's go. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. <sighs> Things I've seen. This car's good. Oh, this car. Okay, this is it. And then open it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this on the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. You try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be fun. Die. So I should not be allowed. That's like so fancy. It's all right, chill. Keep an eye on the map. Oh, you're bloody joking me right now. Be done, we've got to get that minute. I think it'll be so far away. Well, I think we're here now. Fix this car up, please. You're here. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Click of fingers, job done. Okay, it's done. Thanks, Lucas. I 
gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Let's floor it. The steering feels really off now. Shit. Saw coppers, I was like, bro, not messing with them. Back that now. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. Yeah, where am I stand now? We're back! Mate, I like this car. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Da -da. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Thumb. 
You got a moment? No. Sir Frey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom. I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'm talking to distrust the me. I can trust myself. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. This is gonna go bad. This ain't gonna go good. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh... Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. This is gonna go so bad. They're off! Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out! The favorite is out! Who's going to survive the Lost Heaven Circuit's favorite? Can this go any worse? I don't think it's good. Get back behind. With Lichtenberg no longer a contender, the front three are just in for position. Ah, uh, fourth place. Ah, oh, come on. Crashing badly. Oh, if I get back down to third. Jesus. Aggressive driving from Angelo. McKellen is leading. More not far behind. Anyone could win. All right, come on. We got this. We got this. I feel confident. Dirty racer, Dane. Shit. Yeah, I'm in first Angelo place. There, back in the lead position. Can he hold on? Of course I can. Oh, no, overtake him. Who's going to catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? No one. <laughs> Low. Oh dear. Oh dear. Who needs Mikey Dunn? This guy is a fine replacement. Still got time to catch up. Still got time to catch up. Oh my 
Oh, he's out. Last lap. Safe race, that'd be silly. Not when I'm on the road. I'll try. We're nearly at the end. Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine? We're almost there. The final stretch. Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix, with time still left to go. Ah, uh, we go. And we did it. Oh, felt lucky there. Thought it was going to fail. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <laughs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so. Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Polly! Alright, we gotta find him. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy it the moment. All right, let's go down here. Let's go find him. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. Good run, Tommy. Thank you. What is that? Where is he going to be at?
Or is that him there? Found him! What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, champ. <laughs> Ah, bump. All right, which is your car? Oh, this one. He did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. We are Shane indeed. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That's yeah, right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit. Come on. Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down, blank it out like Sam does. Go home to <laughs> whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own six. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Take me to the blue tropics. Uh, Alright, I see I the The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. Uh, home. Throw me home. Uh, I mean, I mean, that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. There we go. That is another one done. Chapter complete. Fair play. Ladies and gents, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, turn the notifications on. I will be back very soon with the next installment of Mafia. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you soon, alright? Have a cracking one. Bye-bye.